Only read both of my races today I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial and no hate can Salam wa alaikum you two was cracking It's your angry biracial Back with another video I was debating on whether or not I should do this video because the last video I put out about, about some trans people, I lost like 15 subscribers. <laughs> people were cussing me out, sending me emails and shit. You know, someone said, oh, you're conservative? Unsubscribe. Bye. I'm like, deuces. I don't care. But I felt I had to say something because I support black women. I love black women. And I am a Muslim. I am a conservative. I am a married man. And I have daughters, you know. So... While I support um, the LGBT community and the right to feel how they want to feel and love who they want to love, I don't necessarily agree with it, right? So people get confused on that. I support your American right to, to, to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I support your American God-given right to feel how you want to feel about shit. Doesn't mean I have to agree. You know what I mean? 100%. So... I support trans women being trans women. That's your title, trans woman. I don't agree with it, but if you feel that that, that you're a trans woman, then, then I support your right to feel that way. I don't agree with it. To me, you'll always just be a man, a man who wants to be a woman. You know what I mean? And where it crosses the line, in my opinion, is when you think you're, you're better than or that, or that you can replace actual w w women. Because I stand with women a hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, someone sent me videos about um, Jess Hilarious and Tasha K arguing with, with, with someone named T.S. Madison. Look, women are women, hundred percent. Trans women are not women. They are men who feel like they are women. That's how I feel. God, Allah, made a man and a woman. Anything else is, is just man-made shit. While, again, while I support your right to feel the way you want to feel, I don't agree with it. If that makes any sense at all. Some people say it don't. Some people say it do. Let me go ahead and dive into this video real quick. This trans woman right here is saying that, you know, are given reasons why straight men should date trans women. I personally think if you're a straight man and you date a trans woman, then you're not really straight. You know, <laughs> but it is what it is, right? But I think that trans women and these Mount's Fair Kings are a match made in heaven. And I'm going to explain why as we watch this video. Let's get into it. And shout out to this content creator. Um, their name is Don Marie. Shout out to, to them. This is going to pick your mood up. Today we're going to talk about the reasons and the benefits of dating a transgender woman and why we are probably most likely, I don't want to be biased, but why we're probably most likely a better candidate of uh, dating than like, you know, your average bish. The first so this trans gentleman is already taking shots. Already taking shots. He's saying, I'm going to give you reasons on why we are better, you know? And I, honestly, with all the shit that these kings talk about black women, I think maybe these kings should try to try dating another king who feels like they're a woman. <laughs> they can have a whole kangle sphere. <laughs> they can make a kangle sphere, man. They, they can make it do what it do. This reason being, we are strong, strong individuals. We've had... Of course you are. You're men. <laughs> to endure a lot, you know, within our life. And we've been through a lot. And it just makes us stronger people. And it makes us really sweet. You go through as much as a trans woman who's been, like, either kicked out of her home or she's been beat up by people, by bullies and stuff. She's going to be a very, very loving, caring person because she doesn't want anybody to feel what she's been through, you know? So she's going to be super sweet and she's just going to be a loving person. Number two for why you should date a trans woman instead. I'm just kidding. We are more appreciative. Taking shots. Just just taking shots. Look, and I don't support the, the bullying 
of um of of, of trans people. But but if you, if you're putting shit out here, then you're gonna get criticized and you're gonna get talked about. So it is what it is. That's why you can see me crack some jokes. Initiative of the small things. We don't need you to like you know go buy us an expensive lunch or you know spend a hundred dollars on something for me to be happy. We just want you to like hold our hands in public. We just want you to be happy that you're with us. Like, you know, little things like holding our hand in public can make us super happy. You know, I, I showed my wife this video before her I, you know, was gonna react to it. And and and, and my, my wife said that this trans gentleman is coming at this conversation from a very male-centric point, right? Is that most women, including her, well, let's talk about from her standpoint. My wife said that she doesn't care about the, the holding hands in public. She wants someone who, who loves her, who she feels safe around, who can protect her, and who can pro pro provide for her. And she doesn't even care about the providing as much, but because she she, she makes her own money. She's a nurse practitioner. But, but someone who, who's family-oriented, who protects, provides, and maintains, and most of all, she feels safe. He said, this trans gentleman just wants to be accepted. You just wants the, the, the superficial things that, that they feel a woman would want. Because let's put it out there 100%. This person has no idea what being feminine is. This person is a man. They have no clue what being a woman is and never will understand what being a woman is. You can wear as much makeup as you want, get as many surgeries as you want. The fact remains, you're not a woman, and you will never understand the, 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 about being pregnant, about g g g g giving birth, about going through the, the menstrual cramps, all, all the hormone changes, and all the things that women go through. They will never understand. Just it's like a what are they called? The women that want to be men, or, the, or those trans men. A trans man would never understand what it is to be a man, no matter how much you look like a man. You never understand what it is to actually be a man and what comes along with that, right? So everything this person is saying, it's, to me, it's really superficial from a male point of view. I mean, and, and again, that's what probably w would make a trans person more appealing to a, 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 a manosphere king that hates women, you know, because you, you get someone that looks a little like a woman, but is not a woman, you know, you get someone that, that, that thinks and acts a little like a man. <laughs> You know, who, who looks like a woman but thinks and acts like a man because it is a man, you know? Because, you know, there are people out there that want to hide us. So, you know, we're we're easy to please. We don't we don't have like super. And that's how, you know, it's not really a woman because women are not easy to please. <laughs> you know, I mean, it is what it is. Just, just don't be mad at me. I, you know, I'm, I'm a married man. I, I, I speak it from experience. Women are not easy to please, man. <laughs> unobtainable like standards like we do have standards not gonna i don't want to make it sound like we don't have standards but you know we we are not just like stuck up and like bougie and just wanting the world from you we just appreciate the small things is it me or does it seem like that this um trans gentleman has been uh watching a lot of um M M manosphere channels to get all the talking points and or maybe it's just because this person is actually a male this is this is what they view a relationship should be from a male point of view. Get it where I'm living. Number tres. Oh, no, no, no. I want to say that in Spanish. Numero tres. <laughs> Number three for why it is beneficial to date a transgender woman is not all guys want to have kids. Believe it or not, right now I'm talking to a guy who doesn't want to have kids. And that's where I actually got this little pointer from. Um, you know, we can't get pregnant. Well, duh. You're not a woman. Again, you can't get pregnant. You're not a woman. You don't have the materials to get pregnant. So it's like, but again, a lot of these manosphere kings, they um they're talking about crying about child support. And look, you don't worry about you don't have to worry about having kids and then abandoning them. You have to worry about child support if you get if you get with a trans gentleman. <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face because it, it's ridiculous, but but they're but the, the trans community they, they have their own space and and me I think these manosphere kings would be happy if they left black women alone and, and went after black trans women because you know 
at the end of the day, they're, they're both men and they know what men like, right? <laughs> Which means we don't have periods either. So a lot of guys don't want kids. There's so much pressure to have a kid when there's a guy and a female, you know, in a relationship. There's like, oh, well, now hurry it up. Like, we want you to get married, have some kids, you know? Now, I you know, something else my wife also pointed out about this part. A lot of times it's the men pressuring the women to have kids because, you know, a lot of men use having impregnating a woman as a way to control a woman. A lot of men do that. A lot of men think if I can just impregnate her, I will control her. I'll get access to do everything. Just like, um, for instance, there was a Dave Chappelle skit, you know, and this skit plays for like a, the a broader, you know, a broader spectrum of things, where he got Oprah Winfrey pregnant, right? And, and first thing he did was, like, oh, I got the money now. I'm in there. You know what I mean? A lot of men feel because they get a woman pregnant. They have access to everything. They'll always be part of their lives and they have some form of control in their lives. And so, you know, the pressure most times is men trying to impregnate the woman. A lot of times there's men stealthing, men taking off the condom and men poking holes in the condom. We never want to have that conversation, though. We want to have conversations in the manosphere about women doing that. We want to talk about how men do that in order to control a woman. It happens a lot. All guys want kids. So, you know, if you don't want kids, we're the perfect candidate for you. Like, at first I was like, hmm, you know, maybe I'm, I'm sad because I want to have my own children too. But, you know, whatever. Like, you know, I'll, I'll keep my body nice and toned and fit and, you know, keep it stretch mark free. You know, I do have stretch marks on the side of my booty because it's growing. I would say no. No, this kind of, it's hard to watch this because it's kind of, um. Is, you know, I'm not going to lie. And, and again, I'm, I'm not trying to take shots. This content creator is kind of disgusting, you know, the way this person is acting and how they are, that they are being, they're, they're being, they're mocking women. They're like, they're like being a woman and like black facing a woman. And that, that makes sense, right? They are going to the extremes. I don't see any women that act like like, like 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 trans women. Normally trans women they go really extreme with it. You know what I mean? And that's you know I don't know any women that act like that. They act like the way that this trans woman is acting. So it's like they're mocking womanhood. And it, to me, that's not that's that's insulting to actual women. That's insulting my daughters. That's insulting my wife. That's like, come on now. You know just. Anyway, so. Number four would be that we know a man's needs more than your average girl. Reason well, duh. Because you're a man. I mean, this trans gentleman is actually even making some sense, though. You do know a man's needs more than, more than a woman does because you're a fucking man. You know what men want because you're a man. 100%. And I'm glad that you said it, and, and you know what I mean? Because y'all can't say, oh, you're being a bigot. I'm not being a bigot. That person, you know, <laughs> again, I'm trying to whoa, whoa, watch my words. The trans gentleman said, we know a, a man's needs more than the average woman, more than women in general, because they're, they're, they're men. 100%. I, I agree with that person not being is it's because we've been on the other side if you're catching my drift number five hope i feel like number five is because trans women are more feminine and make more of an effort the reason that being is no again that i said earlier like you're not you you over exaggerating what you think being feminine is you're not a woman you never have been a woman you know what being fit in it. It's just like a trans man. If they're not men, they never will be men. They never have been a man. So they don't understand what being a masculine man is, what comes into being a man, right? I don't know what my wife goes through every single day being a woman. And neither do you. You, you. you can see your fantasy, what you think the fantasy woman would be, what you think a man would like in a woman. But you will never understand what it is to be a woman because you're not. You, you, you're, you're a man cosplaying a woman. And we got to get, get that right. You can never be more feminine than a woman because you're not a woman. Even the so-called most masculine women out there are, 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 are more feminine than, than a trans person could ever be because they're, they're, they're an actual, actual woman.
Like some people would, would say that, 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 that my wife's masculine. I don't think so, but because my, my wife, well, only men that are intimidated by, 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 by women, independent women doing their thing, right? Because my, my wife, she runs her own clinic. You know, she, she makes great money. She has employees. My wife is a boss chick. She, she does what she got to do. She does what she has to do. When she comes home, I'm, I'm her man. When, when she comes home, she, she turns all, all that shit off and, and, and she, I'm her man. You know what I mean? It is what it is, right? So I, I, I take umbrage with, with that point right there. You will never be more feminine than an actual woman because you're not a woman. They have no clue what being a feminine woman entails. It's because we're making up for what we, for what we lacked in our previous life. And, you know, we care about our appearance and we just want to look spruced up and feminine at all times. You want to look like a woman because you want to be able to pass a, 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 as one because you know that just waking up and looking in the mirror, you, you, you look like a man. So you go out of your way to spruce yourself up, make sure you got the makeup on, make sure you get surgeries, make sure you have on a nice wig so you can look and pass as a woman because you know you are not. Yes, you do try harder because you have to, to pass, just to pass. You know, you could be the most gross, uh, I don't want to say that. You could be the most unattractive, out of shape woman who doesn't care about nothing, who's whatever in the world. She can wake up and look in the mirror and you can, still you can still tell that that is a woman because she's a biological woman. You can be the most Barbie looking trans person on, on the planet. You know, when, but when you wake up in the morning, you don't have your makeup on, everything else, you can still tell that you're not really a woman. You weren't born that way, or something's a little bit off. You know, what I mean? because I've been, man, I can tell you some stories, man, and most men, men can't. You know, I don't want to keep interrupting, but you know, like I was, I was in Los Angeles for the first time, right? And I was walking around, man. I was young. I was like, yeah, man, I'm about to get some numbers. I'm gonna do my thing, right? And I, I saw, you know, I saw some some long hair, the n- n- nice body, you know, and, and you know, a big old bubble butt. And I was like, okay, you know, let, let, let me go try to holler. And I was walking. This person kept walking faster and faster. They did not, they, they, they didn't acknowledge me. So finally, I, I cut up. I was like, hey, you know, I, I wanted to talk to you, you know, see how you doing. It turned around. I saw the face. I was like, oh, it, it, it was a whole dude. And I was like, damn, man, you done tricked a, tricked a biracial brother. You know, like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It like, had a five o'clock shadow and everything. But but from behind, and that's why the person didn't ever turn to look at me. And they're walking. I was like, oh, shit. You know? So, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, you know, yeah, yeah. You can never, you can, no matter how much you try, you can never be. Okay, guys right. love that. Guys appreciate it. I heard from a few guys that I've dated, like, you know what, like, I really appreciate trans women because they actually take the time to get ready and don't take advantage of being a woman. Oh my God, this hair is getting on my nerves. What do you mean? Like, all the women I know take forever to fucking get ready. <laughs> like, with me and my wife, we plan to go somewhere as a family. I, you know, I, I make sure that the event is a couple hours away before we start getting ready. Cause then my wife is going to take forever every morning when my wife gets up, she has a face routine, different face scrubs. And she has that, that, that Rihanna stuff that, that she bought Fenty or something like that. She'd be do, scrubbing her face. Takes her about an hour to do her, her face r- r- routine every single morning. And then, then, then to get her hair ready and then put it in, in her job and then, do do do, do, do the, the the coal around her eyes and you know what I mean? So most women I know take fucking forever to get ready. Most women I know care about how they look. You know, so again, you're looking at it from a very male standpoint. That's right here. You guys actually like take the time and effort to be feminine and to be girly, and you guys aren't trying to like step all over our toes all the time. Feminism nowadays, I swear. You guys are like, well, you know, girls want to be a girl but want to act like a dude it's like you can't be chilling over there with the dudes and trying to act like a dude but expect him to treat you like a woman it's very ironic that you're saying that because you, you you're a dude trying to chill over there with the with the the girls and be treated like a girl but 
but you're a woman. I mean, but 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 you're a man. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the fuck. You know, kind of ironic that you talking about women. You know, I mean, with, with women who are tomboys or and even a tomboy, the tomboy woman is more feminine than you. The day you're talking about these other variants of women like that when you are pretending to be them. No, honey, that's just not how it works. So sorry to break it to ya. It's not how it works. My hair is just not agreeing with me today. We're just gonna, okay, okay, bitch. You need to stay, there we go. Finally, last but not least, I'm sure that I can come up with more reasons um, for why it's more beneficial to date a transgender woman, but we are more accepting. Come on now. We're probably the most talked about group minority and made fun of group ever we i disagree with that too black women are still mocked today and some some would argue that trans women are also mocking black women i like i heard that that t.s madison's say something really insulting to to uh to black women saying that you're all just mad because you get mistaken for trans women all the time right and that's very insulting and 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 the fact that trans 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 women you know again yeah, i'm trying to watch what, what, what i'm saying black women are the most disrespected and unprotected women on the fucking planet and why does everyone want to co-opt that now, i'm pretty sure black black women don't want that but that's just how it is so why is everyone trying to co-opt that you know everyone will everyone wants to be on, on the oppression olympics yeah Trans people that they, that they get made fun of and talked about because it's fucking kind of funny, you know. You, this is a lifestyle that you you chose, and a lot of people feel that they it's okay to make fun of because you're choosing to do this. You know what I mean? It's different when you're making fun of someone who was born with something. I was born with a stutter, you know, or, or if you're born with a disability, then it's different. But you're not born a trans person. You know what I mean? So. It's, uh, I don't know, I'm, I don't want to go too far. We are super accepting because we know what it's like to be picked on and to be judged for being different. So it's like if a guy likes something different, like, you know, we're going to be like, hey, like, kudos to that. We just genuinely accept it for what it is. We don't judge you. So if you're a little weirdo and you are afraid that a, an average girl will judge you, hey whatever man she's giving a shout out to the to the manosphere right there to the kings of the manosphere a lot of them motherfuckers are weirdos <laughs> a lot of them motherfuckers are straight weirdos look manosphere kings go go get you a don marie go go, go get you a ts madison <laughs> go get you a trans woman because you know y'all don't clearly don't, don't like black women you clearly don't like women in general because no man that actually likes women can go online and talk about women the way that the manosphere does. So go get you a man who wants to be a woman. He will do everything. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. He will be everything that you dream about in a woman. You have to worry about child support. Y'all cry about child support every time. Like the fact of the matter is, if, if you didn't have unprotected sex and get that get that woman pregnant, you have to worry about child support. But the, the trans gentleman can't get pregnant. So you you don't you got to worry about that, right? You know, the the trans gentleman said that they'll, they'll be fit, they'll be feminine, they'll be friendly for you. All the things that, that you complain that black women aren't, they said they'll do it for you. So why so why just so why keep talking about black women when there's a whole community of trans women that that are that will accept you just the way you are, broke, deadbeat, bumish. Uh, uh, you can't read above, above an eighth grade level, all that shit. They'll just be happy for you to hold their hand in public and accept them. Go be with them. You know, that's pretty much it for this video. If you ladies are feeling like really, really down and you feel like you're not going to ever be worthy of a man, trust me. Trust me when I tell you, baby. Yes, you are. You are enough and you will one day find a love. Don't ever let it. I mean, Hey, I'm not going to comment on that one. I'm not going to comment on that one. But, you know, this whole trans discussion is it is a crazy discussion, you know, because we live in a day and age where where people go based upon how they feel, not, not based upon scientific and biological facts. 
you know, like as a religious person, God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. You know what I mean? It's it, it is what it is. And everyone like came out came for, 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 from a woman. So it's like ah, I'm, I'm really trying to watch how I say this because I gotta be really cancel culture is, is, is a real thing. I ain't trying to be canceled. My channel is just starting. Trans women, there's a space for you guys. You know what I mean? And that space is not occupying the space that was set aside, that the space that, that women, actual women are occupied. Trans men, there's a space for y'all. That's that space is not occupying actual male spaces, my my space. You know what I mean? And you should be fine with just being a trans person because that is your space. That is who you are. You will never be a, the, the, the biological equivalent of what you want to be. That's just science. That's just facts. You know what I mean? I can't wake up one day and say, I feel like I'm Bill Gates and I have, so I should have access to all this fucking money. You know? And I don't want spaces for, for, for my daughter to be occupied by men who feel like they are women. I, I just I, I just don't want it. You know what I mean? And that brings up a whole a lot of other issues. And I want to live in a society that's based upon facts, that's based upon science, that's based upon biology, that's based upon on reality. But at the same time, you have the American right. To believe what you want to believe and as a conservative american i i want to support your right to do that i just don't want the line to be crossed you know what i mean like me i'm biracial i'm not a black man I, i'm 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 not i'm not an arab man i'm a biracial man you know and i i don't i don't i don't try to skew the line on that you know I me mean? because i am what i am i'm biracial 100 anyway I try to tiptoe around it, but what are y'all thoughts? Do you think uh, trans women and 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 the manosphere kings are a match made in heaven? So let me know. Assalamu alaikum. Y'all be safe. It's angry, Barisha.